Oof, so this is where we start with Luis Diaz. Liverpool are bidding to complete the biggest Premier League deal of the window ahead of that deadline on Monday at 11 p.m. Carve, they have left it late, but it does seem out of the blue, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Liverpool supporters are going to be absolutely delighted because Liverpool are very, very close now uh, to signing Luis Diaz. And what is interesting is that he was Jurgen Klopp's first choice target for the summer. Liverpool weren't expecting that they would sign him uh, this month. But basically what happened is that Spurs came in for him. Mm. And Spurs were very, very close to completing a deal to sign him. And basically the message was relayed to Liverpool. If you don't make your move now, this player is going to go to Spurs. And Liverpool have decided to make the move now. The deal is worth in total up to about £50 million. Mm. But I think the initial payment is only about £37 million, which Liverpool think is very, very good value. And what is going to happen now is, at the moment, I think a team from Liverpool are flying out to South America to complete this deal because the player is in Colombia. Colombia are playing Peru this evening and then they're flying to Argentina because they're playing Argentina on Tuesday. So it's quite complicated to complete the deal, get the uh, medical done, so we shouldn't expect this to happen in the next few hours. I think it's going to take one, uh, two days to get it done, maybe even on Monday. But I think Jurgen Klopp will be absolutely delighted and so will all Liverpool fans because this is a player they wanted. He was their number one target for the summer, but they've managed to sign him early because of that strong, strong interest from Tottenham. Not everyone will be delighted, though, will they, Darmesh? What about uh, bringing in a, a, another striker? Could that leave Divock Origi and Takumi Minamino? What, what, what does it mean for them and, and, and other players that might be affected by this? Yeah, I think, well, what Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp are trying to do is just that evolution because you've got that front three of Salah, Mane and Firmino have been there for so long, entering the final 18 months of their contract, entering their 30s, as well and the likes of uh, Takumi Minamino and Divock Origi it, it's likely that Liverpool would listen to offers for those two players in this transfer window if you look at Divock Origi is into the last six months of his Liverpool contract Minamino's got a bit longer he's got a contract until 2024 and they've already rejected initial approaches for Minamino from Leeds and Monaco they're still in four competitions so I don't think it will be the end of the world if they can't get um, transfer fees and, and transfers away from the club for these mm. two players because there still probably will be room for them to play games for the remainder of the season. But with this squad getting bigger with the likes of Luis Diaz potentially, I think they would actually listen to offers for those two players. And actually what about looking further ahead as well with regards to Liverpool, can't they? I think if you look at the transfer business they've done under Jurgen Klopp uh, recently, it has been incredible, the signings that they've made. You know, not just players like Virgil van Dijk and Alisson, but just think about the fact that they sold Philippe Coutinho for £142 million. And for £150 million, they've managed to sign Mohamed Salah, Sadio Mane, Diogo Jota, and also now Luis Diaz. And I think... What has happened with Luis Diaz this season is that he's played twice against Liverpool in the Champions League for Porto. And during those games, Jurgen Klopp has seen something that he's liked a lot. And he's obviously said, this is the player for me. I don't think going forward, it's going to mean that players are going to be leaving players like Mo Salah or Sadio Mane. Uh, they're in talks, for instance, with Mo Salah about him signing a new contract. I don't think uh, Liverpool supporters should be worried. I think they should be excited because Jurgen Klopp made uh, Diaz his number one target and he's managed to get him six months early mm. for a price that looks very, very reasonable, £37 million plus £12.5 million in add-ons. Yeah, so some very happy people up on Merseyside. But what about if we focus back down here at Tottenham, Darmesh? two players in two days they appear to have lost out on. 
They were in for Adama Traore from Wolves, weren't they? Looks like he's heading back to Barcelona. Medical tonight at Barcelona for a loan with an option to buy for £29 million. And now Luis Diaz. They were close, they think, to signing him. The financials looked good, but it just seems that Liverpool was his choice, was the player's choice. Look, it wasn't to do with the fee. They were willing to pay around €45 million Euros up front plus €10 million Euros in add-ons. The player simply wanted to play for Liverpool. Now, it should be noted here, though, Carve alluded to it there, that this is a long-term target for, for Liverpool, Luis Diaz. They had an interest in this player long before Tottenham Hotspur were thinking, let's go in for, for the player. So... It's only when Tottenham started going in for the player, Liverpool thought, right, OK, look, we're going to have to bring ahead our planning for this player from the summer to now. 